This morning in southern Georgia, a father and son are behind bars, arrested for a shooting that has sparked nationwide protests. Gregory and Travis McMichael have been charged with murder and aggravated assault in the death of 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery. Overnight, Arbery's family says it has been a long wait. It made me feel a little released, me and my family, that we know they were behind bars, but we still got a long process to go. The shooting happened in February, but the release this week of this video showing the altercation quickly sparked a national outcry. I think the video release was absolutely essential because I think the, the, the breaking point was the investment of the world community. Celebrities, including LeBron James, Serena Williams, and Taylor Swift, all tweeted demanding justice. Former Vice President Joe Biden also weighing in. And his family and the country deserve justice, and they deserve it now. From Georgia's governor, a promise for a fair and thorough investigation. It's absolutely horrific and Georgians deserve answers. In the video, the two men, who are both armed, are seen following Arbery in a pickup truck as he is running down the street. The men confront Arbery, and after a scuffle, he is eventually shot dead. NBC News cannot verify what happened before or after the events shown in this video. Arbery's family says he was unarmed and was just out for a jog. What actual justice looks like is these men behind bars for the rest of their lives, anybody who participated in this very public lynching. The McMichaels told police that they followed Arbery because they believed that he was the man involved in recent home burglaries. This 911 call by an unknown caller was recorded shortly before Arbery was killed. And you said someone's breaking into no. it right now? No, it's, it's all open, it's under construction, and he's running right now. There he goes right now. According to a police report, Gregory McMichael, a former police officer, claims Arbery began to violently attack Travis and the two men then started fighting over the shotgun. And McMichael says his son shot Arbery in self-defense. The case is now on its third prosecutor. The previous two recused themselves over possible conflicts of interest. Now, 10 weeks later, an arrest. But those demanding justice say this is just the first step.